Hey guys, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. So guys, I have another very interesting CarPlay adapter today. This one is from the very famous company called MMB Joy Auto. This is their latest model called MMB MTK. Now this is not in the market yet, it's supposed to be launched in the next few days. Uh, but you must be wondering what is the difference between this one and the one they launched back in December called MMB Plus. Now the biggest difference is on the speed and the processor. This one comes with um, an 8 core processor and 2 gigahertz of speed. The previous one was only 4 core and 1.5 gigahertz. This one runs on Android 9 operating system. The previous one was uh, Android 11. Uh, this one has an internal memory of 64 gigs versus the previous one which was only 32 gigs. Now this one comes with a SIM card slot but no HDMI. The earlier one was with HDMI but no SIM card. So a few differences here and there. But let's do the unboxing first to check out the contents of this box and then we can take it out to my car, connect it and check out all the different functions and features. So keep watching guys. So let's do a quick unboxing. So as you can see, the device comes in this nice small box, uh, a very nice image of the device on top. Uh, some features mentioned on this side and at the back, you see uh, details of the manufacturer. So the box comes on with this sleeve. Let's take the sleeve out. And then you have a plain black box. Let's open it and uh, you see the device here now the good thing is that you know you have it quite secured so the device doesn't get damaged uh, during shipping so let's take it out let's keep it on the side while we check out the other contents and then we will come back to the device okay so we have a user manual very nice uh, images and all the instructions to connect with the car then we've got cables this cable is type C to type C and this one is type A to type C I need this one for my car but if you have you know a newer model or a European car uh, that has a type C connection then you would need this cable that's it guys nothing much in the box now let's have a closer look at the device. Um, it's quite lightweight. Mm, it is very compact, um, very slim. It's a nice design. Uh, you don't have anything on all the sides except for this where you have a type uh, C connection for the car and then a tray for the SIM card and the TF card. And at the back you have you know enough spacing for uh, air ventilation so the device doesn't heat up uh, but if you compare this side by side with the previous version you will notice that this is a nicer design much uh, compact lightweight slim the earlier one was uh, not very big but it was slightly bulky so you know if you ask me i prefer this design so now I will take this out to my car, connect it with the system and then uh, check out all the different functions and features. Alright guys, so we have the device ready to be connected with the car. So I will connect this USB-A port with the system of my car. Okay, so I've connected uh, the device. It should take a short while for the device to start up and the system to sync with the device and then we should be able to see an intro video uh, of MMB appearing on the screen any second now. There you go. So one important thing of any device is how much time does it take to start up. So when you switch it on, how long would it take for the device to start and get to the main home page of the device like this. So we will do a speed test later on in the video. 
So this is the main home page of this MMB MTK Android 9 operating system device. Uh, this is a standard layout. There's another layout where all these shortcut icons would appear at the bottom, but not much different. So this is how it looks like. This is the layout. You've got all the pre-installed applications appearing when you swipe to the left. Um, what we can do is actually the first thing let's do is to change the wallpaper so we click on theme i've got some wallpapers on the tf card uh, that, that i have installed on the device so we click on this button here these are all the different wallpapers click on this one okay we like it we apply it and then we go to the home page to see how this looks so you can install your own wallpaper as well so guys let me give you a very quick tour of uh, the layout uh, so as i said earlier this is an android 9 uh, operating system device uh, this is your main home page you've got the music date time on the left you've got three shortcut apps these are the ones that are running now or the last opened apps then you've got this button here which takes you to the full app manager and then the voice input and at top right you've got gps connection signal bluetooth sim card and the wi-fi connection you have this uh, two arrows two downward arrows appearing on top you click on that it basically shows you the connection so you've got wi-fi bluetooth uh, gps positioning and sim card so we have connected the device with my Wi-Fi and that's why you can see it's active. GPS is always active because this device comes in uh, with a built-in GPS system. And then if you swipe left, you have all the different uh, applications installed on this device. Now there are a few pre-installed applications but you can always go to the Google Play Store and install more applications. Now this device has a built-in memory of 64 gigs so a lot of space to download tons and tons of applications games and so on now let's go to the uh, settings and check out all the different setting options so you have obviously wire wi-fi connection you've got mobile network and then you have the standard uh, setting options let's click on the version to see the device details uh, so we can see that uh, it's Android 9 operating system, MTK MMB. Most important one is the CPU. So it's octa-core A53 Cortex, 2 gigahertz. And then it's 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal memory. Okay, let's come back and you have all the remaining, uh, you know, system setting options. So as I said earlier, there are some pre-installed apps uh, on this device uh, and these are some standard applications. So we've got maps, Bluetooth, themes to change the wallpaper, uh, phonecast to mirror the screen of the mobile. We'll do that later. Media is to uh, access the TF card uh, media files. You've got Google Play. Uh, then this is uh, the car uh, icon. This basically takes you back to the main home page of the of the original system. So click on this, it takes you back to the main home page. You click on Apple CarPlay, gets you back to this Android 9 operating system. And you swipe left. Uh, then you have the file manager to access the TF card. Uh, you have CarPlay, GPS test, Google, uh, Google, YouTube, Chrome, Netflix, and a few other uh, applications. So uh, let's test the strength of the GPS signal that we're getting. That's good. All right, guys. So in the next few minutes, what I will do is go through some of the frequently used applications and test if they're working properly on this device. So let's start off with uh, YouTube.
All right, guys, so the last thing I would like to test on this device is the startup speed of this device when we switch on the car. Um, so I've got my stopwatch ready here. I will unplug the device and then uh, I will plug it back in and then I will go and click on the start button. So the timer has started. Let's see how long does this device take. All right, so the startup video started in 17 seconds. All right, so 35 seconds. 35 seconds is not bad. Um, it's quite fast. And uh, considering that uh, this is a fully loaded uh, Android multimedia box, 35 seconds uh, would be considered quite fast. All right, guys, so we've done all the tests. Uh, the device has performed really well. I am quite impressed. This is another very impressive device from uh, the famous MMB uh, Joy Auto Company. Uh, it is definitely very fast. Uh, it is basically eight core uh, CPU processor with two gigahertz of speed. So I'm quite impressed uh, with this device. So guys, uh, if you are interested to buy this device, just go to the description uh, of this video. You'll find a link that takes you directly to the manufacturer's website. If you have any questions about this device, just drop me a WhatsApp message. Uh, I've provided a direct WhatsApp message link in the description of this video. Finally, please do subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks.